Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is a look at Fennec Alpha 3. This is basically Mozilla's Firefox for mobile devices. Now, we've shown you videos of Alpha 1, Alpha 2, and now we're at Alpha 3, and what's different uh, is really a lot of bug fixes. So, uh, they've improved panning and scrolling, they've improved startup time, revised theme, um, improved UI polish, and things like that. Overall, it's not too, too different from Alpha 2, so if you've tested that before, it's very similar, but we'll take a look and see if we notice anything uh, terribly different. Okay, so let's test out that improved startup time. We're going to tap on this little Fennec icon here and see how long it takes. Okay, so that was about 11 seconds, and if you think about it, Opera Mobile's about 6 seconds, so it's still slow, but compared to previous alphas of Fennec, it's a lot faster. So let's go to a website. Let's start off by uh, tapping on the awesome bar, as they call it up here. And let's go to, you can see some sites I've been to already. Let's go to msn.com. Okay, here we have MSN loaded, and just like uh, on the desktop version of Firefox, you get the little fav icon up here at the top. If you type, if you tap on the fav icon, you get a little bit more information about the site's security certificate. From here, we can swipe to the right to get a list of tabs. We can open up a new tab, and we can start typing. Let's go straight to Pocket now. Let's swipe to the right to get that to close. Okay, and here we are with pocketnow.com loaded, and of course we can tap to drag, and it takes a little while to redraw the screen. It doesn't have flash support, so you see the little, you know, click here to enable the plug-in uh, notification there. To zoom in on a column, you double tap, just like other mobile browsers, and it tries to refit it, although it's a little bit slower than Opera Mobile, as you can see there. Uh, double tap to zoom out again. And at this point, things seem very much similar to what they looked like in Alpha 1 and Alpha 2. Uh, the tabs are about the same. They perform a little bit better. Let's draw into settings and see if anything is different there. Of course, we swipe to the, to the left this time to get settings. And settings is down here. And actually, you can jump up to favorites right here by tapping on the star. And you can actually add a favorite by doing that. Let's go down to the settings button. And they've moved the location of the, the icons. Now they're on the bottom. They used to be on the left side. So they really optimize page space. Now they have this kind of yes-no um, toggle switch, really, to turn on and off images, enable JavaScript, enable plugins. And one of the great things about Fennec when it's finally fully developed is that you'll be able to get a lot of plugins for it and customize the browsing experience, kind of like you can do on Firefox on the desktop. The second tab will show you the plugins and allow you to search for plugins. Uh, we did a video about this in Alpha 2. Right now, there are only about 10 plugins that you can get for Fennec. It's not like you can get the many thousands that you can get for the desktop. And I'm not going to tap on that icon because it seems to freeze this device every time I do. Uh, that's another bug. Let's go to the one to the right of the plugins icon. This just shows you all of your downloads if you've recently downloaded some files. And to the right of that, is really the first screen that we saw with all of the options to change the various uh, settings. So Fennec Alpha 3 is not that much better than previous versions. There are probably a lot of under the hood bug fixes, but from the end user perspective, it's really not that different, and there's still a lot of room left to make improvement. Um, obviously, this is an alpha, it's not even in beta yet, so the Mozilla developers know this, um, but at this point, there's still a lot left to be desired, and, and it's far from being able to be used as a daily driver because there's just so many problems with bugs and things just not working very well. So we'll keep an eye on the development of Fennec. We'll be back when there's a new build to talk about. That's it for now.